Hey everyone, if you have rare U.S. and international coins you'd like to sell, watch this video through to the very end, and I'll show you where we can list them for sale. This is 1961. A circulated, slightly tarnished Jefferson nickel from the Philadelphia issue is displayed on the side of the coin from our nickel collection. The characteristics that correspond to the exceptionally fine quality strike are bold. There is little circulation rub, and some faded traces of the luster appear in specific places. Additionally, some unappealing seaweed tones are visible around the letterings, which detracts from the design's overall aesthetic appeal. The coin's reverse side has a shaky gait. We detect several strewn, tarnished stocks on the surfaces around the Monticello building. Coin must have been handled incorrectly cleaned. Not only are the porch steps utterly soft, but other components of Monticello, such as the Jefferson Residence's columns, are also worn or poorly hit. 66 or better condition. Less than 100 specimens have a rating of MS-66 or above. Less than a dozen of its scars were known, and none were known to exist in any higher state with complete steps in any grade. One of the most priceless Philadelphia issues to date is this one. Condition 66, Complete Steps. For experienced Jefferson Nickel enthusiasts, the notional strike and condition rarity is fine. This George's premium diamond has a dramatic setting and is fundamentally magnificent. White luster, almost a flaw. Free was a striking his coin with an extremely sharp stroke. Philadelphia Mean paid little regard to the quality for the high mintage circulation strike Jefferson issues that it manufactured during the early to mid-1960s save from the great majority of circulation strike 1961. Nichols created as a specialist in this modern series. The outcome for the 1961 is illustrated above, and it shows that even in the lowest mint state grades, whole step specimens are uncommon. Stax Powers auction netted $10,000 and $800 for the sale of this excellent general. With the complete steps designation, the 1961 D. Jefferson Nichols coin is one of the hardest to locate in the series, if not the hardest. From birth, the reverse for this date and the mint mark frequently have very weak strikes. Dies, hence there are no complete steps detailing on the coin's reverse. One of the most expensive 1961 D. Jefferson Nichols cars ever sold at auction is this one. Bold illustrious almost served as instantaneous proof in the fields on both rivers and birds. The stages are clearly defined, yet other elements display some bluntness while being more intricate than is customary. On this date, surfaces are brilliantly brilliant and incredibly shiny. Even with the use of a strong glass, the surfaces of this coin exhibit no major flows of any type, making it a truly gem-quality piece. The eye appeal for the date is actually outstanding, or a date that typically is unimpressive, pancake-flat, and devoid of any unique qualities that would make it stand out a sought-after collectible. It was purchased at Legend Rare Coin Auctions for $14,687.50. I appreciate you guys watching. To help us reach more people, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to our page. Enjoy your day. You desire to sell your currency. Online stores for paper money, bills, precious bills, and stamps. On our mobile website, thecoiners.com, you can post your adverts for free. Using our coin as app, users may publish coin ads much more easily.